ourselves. I actually grew up in a profession. If you want to become an astronaut, they'll always keep asking you, what is it that you have done for others? Are you involved in any clubs? Are you involved in any kind of activities? When I was a kid about your age, a lot of children used to make fun of old people. And I just couldn't figure that out. Why would you make fun of old people? I had grandparents. I don't want anybody to make fun of them. Okay? And throughout life, I always treated the elderly people very well. All I heard growing up was, God will bless you, my son. God will bless you. And that blessing is real. And that blessing is important. So don't get carried away when you see your friends being mean and being rude and being nasty to people. Try always to help when you can, okay? And the thing that we remember is that whatever you do is going to come back to you a thousand times. In closing, I want to say this. A couple of years ago, I was in an accident. It wasn't something like we were driving under the cliff and two classes. I was in a private property. I borrowed a friend's car and I was reversing the car up the hill. And yeah, and the bumper got hooked in the gate and I heard this terrible sound. So I looked out to see what happened to see how I could move the car. One of these days, not too long from now, we will get the driver's license. The guy was directing me, his car he was directing me. And when he saw what happened, he said something, I don't know what it was, maybe something like this. Oh, and I had put out this foot out of the car and I was trying to, I forgot to put up the handbrake and the car just drove with me. And the door slammed me, the car just went down and it turned over. I saw this leg all the way at the back of my leg. And that was exactly what I said. I said to myself, don't look Sam, this is not good. And in an instant, in an instant, I was pinned and I could not breathe and I was falling. Fortunately, the guy was just there and other people heard the bang and ran. And they ripped the door open. And everything was already beginning to turn black. And all of a sudden when they removed it, I went, ah! I could breathe. And they dragged me out, they broke the back the driver's seat and they dragged me out through the back door and laid me down on the ground. And what happened was that they took me to the hospital, I remember the ambulance sending me to the hospital, I asked them if I got to the hospital. And they were, they, they just got rid of my clothes. I had a very nice belt, I was thinking to myself, don't cut my belt, but they had these big scissors and they were just cutting everything. And I'm a surgeon. That's what I do. I've taken care of people in accidents. And you know, we come in here and we're saving lives, right? We're saving lives. And um, that's what happens. And I remember, I, I just almost couldn't talk. And the light was actually going out of me. And I felt myself move out of my body. I could see the doctors and the nurses. It's like I was above and everywhere at one time. I could see them working on my body. And people on the phone saying, oh, that person was in a bad accident and it doesn't look good. And I went to a place, some people call it a near-death experience. But in that place that I was, nothing mattered. You know, some people talk about nice years, some people talk about straight nose, some people talk about who can sing, who can dance. All of those things did not matter. And I was moving, I was like in a great tunnel, floating. I heard my death announcement. We had been asked to announce the death of Samuel Christian, age 62, two years ago, of Point Michel, left to mourn his lost spirit. And I hear the music that sorrowful organs. I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. And somehow, in closing, somehow, somehow, the doctors and the nurses working on me did such a terrific job. They revived me and 
sent me on a helicopter to Martinique, where I spent four months in the hospital. I spent 83 days before I could get in the shower. I spent about three months before I could walk. I had closed my office. I told them to close my office. I told them to close the gate, walk again. But by the grace of God, He has me here today. So I have been able to add two more years from my 62. How many more years will you have? Some of you are 13, some of you are 12, and other ages. We don't know. We don't know whether we are one of those people who might not be here when graduation happens. Or we could be one of those people who lives in a hundred. If we take care of ourselves, we don't abuse our bodies with smoke and alcohol, we eat right, we exercise. But most of all, we do good for others. Everything else, it didn't matter to me whether I had a degree, whether I was a doctor, whether I've been to the to Disney World, yes, I've been to Disney World. And it doesn't matter where you have been, and what you have done, and how much fun you have, the only thing that matters is how much goodness that you did to your loved ones, to total strangers, to leaders, to your classmates, to your teachers. So I leave you with this verse. We want at all times to make an impact in our lives, to be kind and loving and respectful to everybody, especially our teachers, especially our parents. Honor thy father and thy mother so that the days may be long. The people who are helpless, the people who are sick, the people that people turn their faces about away from because they are so disgusting and nasty and horrible and whatever. These are the people who need your love and our kindness. So as you continue to school, I just want you to keep those things in mind, enjoy your school days, happy, happy days, and remember, whatever will be, will be. It doesn't matter what happens to you at the end of the day. What in your heart that really matters. Thank you so much for your thanks. Yeah? Sir, so, something to tell you. Mm -hmm. On behalf of one high, on behalf of the teacher and students of Common Bay, I wish to sincerely thank you, Dr. Sam Christian, for taking time out of from your busy schedule to come in and speak to us about life. What you said today is greatly appreciated. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You have a... <laughs> thank you very much. Grammar school tie. I have grammar school tie, so I appreciate that so much. And you were saying something? Okay, good. Uh, Miss Joseph, can you come over, please? Yeah, we're going to take a picture. I want her to choose choose a number. We have the number place in there. All right, we're going to choose a number. Mm -hmm. And remember your numbers. Could you choose a number from there? Close your eyes. Okay. okay. Where's number five? Where's number five? Where's number five? Okay, good. And you win a brand new prize, okay. You got those more like. Someone else last week.